What's up guys and welcome back to the Concrete Edge right here on Deco Creek TV. Thank you guys. Uh, so my name is Jeff and uh, today we're just going to be discussing how long you should wait before sealing fresh concrete. So stay tuned and you're going to learn all about it. <laughs> So one of our most frequently asked questions in the comments is how long should I wait before sealing fresh concrete? And you know, this, the easy answer to this question is 30 days or technically 28 days, but there is a little bit more to it than that. It just depends on the situation. And there are so many variables in this and there, unfortunately there's just really no one size fits all answer. So we're just going to break this down into a few different sections. And the first one is, are you curing or sealing the concrete? And you know, these two things, Things are not the same and we do have a full episode uh, where we go completely in depth on this so to make sure to uh, check that out as well but the short explanation would be that curing is a short-term process and this is really really important uh, for the initial hardening and strength development in the concrete where sealing on the other hand uh, this is more of a long-term thing that's going to provide protection and enhance the concrete's appearance and its durability. So when it comes to the curing, I mean, normally this is something that the contractor is gonna do. He's gonna spray something on their slab the, the, before he leaves that first day. And you know, this might be a cure and seal product or it might be some kind of just a strictly curing compound. And there's no right or wrong, you know, in either of those two things. It's just important to understand what that contractor used and that way you can make the best decision moving forward. So the next question is what type of sealer are you planning on using? And just like yeah, the curing and sealing topic, I mean, we do have a full episode uh, that goes over the difference between penetrating and film forming sealers. And again, there's a pretty big difference here. So it's important to do your research. The most penetrating sealers are going to require fully cured concrete. I mean, these type of sealers, they've got to be able to penetrate the pores of that concrete in order to do any good. And if something is blocking that, I mean, they're just not going to be able to do their job. And, you know, that could just be the initial moisture from the pore that's blocking it. And so when it comes to penetrating sealers, I mean, you know, most of these is a minimum of that 28 day wait period. But in some cases, it might even be a lot longer than that. Now, when it comes to acrylic or film forming sealers, I mean, these kind of things are different. These could be applied right away. And in fact, a lot of times that is going to be what's sprayed on as the curing compound is some sort of a curing seal. Now, again, you know, going back to the difference between curing and sealing when you spray it on that early it's not really sealing the concrete as much as it is just helping to cure it and more on these sealers in a second when we get to the different kinds of finishes now the next question up is going to be is the concrete interior exterior now this one here is kind of obvious i mean of course exterior concrete is going to cure different than an interior slab i mean in the summertime it's going to go way faster but in the cooler time of the year it might actually go slower than the inside slab it just depends on the situation and this is why that old 28 day answer can be a little bit misleading because it really depends on what time of the year as well as uh, what part of the world you live in so another thing that could affect uh, how long you should wait to seal your concrete is how was it finished and i mean this might actually determine on what type of sealer you use so stamp concrete i mean it normally doesn't get any kind of curing compound at all and it can generally be sealed after a week or two i mean don't get me wrong 30 days is always better but for most jobs that one to two weeks is going to be just fine. And when it comes to broomed or swirled or any other kind of porous concrete or finish on some concrete, well, that is normally going to get sprayed with some kind of cure. And it's probably also going to be better off in the end with some kind of a penetrating sealer. And so in this case, you know, generally it's going to be that full 30 days, maybe even more depending on what kind of curing compound and what kind of sealer you're planning on using. Now, smooth finished concrete, I mean, this is generally only done indoors. And, you know, there's really no right or wrong, you know, when it comes to the type of sealer. And the longer you can wait is always going to be better. Now, the, a, a surface like that is already going to be a lot harder than a broom finish. And this, the sealer is really there mostly for looks and just stain protection. So next up, is there color in the concrete? I mean, and this is definitely gonna change things because if you got color in your concrete, uh, most, you know, concrete color is on that color chart, if you're gonna get close to that chip, you're gonna need some sort of an acrylic sealer in order to bring the color out. And I'll also look at there's a difference between colored stamp concrete and then color concrete that might be finished in some other way. I mean, color concrete is always going to go through a little bit of a blotchy phase as it cures out. And this isn't really very noticeable on stamp concrete because of all the antiquing that's on there. And in that case, you know, we go back to, you know, generally a week or two after the pour is going to be fine. 
Now, for those colored, uh, broomed, or swirled, or even smooth finish jobs, man, I do look at that a little bit different, and in my opinion, it is always best to wait that full 30 days, let that concrete completely cure out, let the bocce phase pass you by, and then go ahead and put your sealer on there. You know, even if that colored broom driveway got a really light coat of cure and seal, like D1, for example, uh, the day of placement, you know, to me, that is fine, but just continue to wait and let that go all the way through its cycle and then actually apply the sealer properly. So the last question you need to ask yourself um, is, is there curing compound left on the concrete? And you know, this kind of goes back to where we started off, but you know, again, if you're putting that penetrate, if you're gonna put penetrating sealer on your slab, that curing compound has got to be completely gone. Again, if the penetrating sealer can't get through it, it is not gonna do its job. And this could take up to 90 days in some cases. And so even though that concrete might be fully cured, the penetrating sealer should not be applied if there's any curing compound left there that's blocking it. Now, if your driveway was uh, cured with some sort of a cure and seal product, um, you know, like any of, the, of these uh, curlic sealers here, or even our D-Shield product, you know, this is the, where it's gonna be a little bit different because we can apply that same sealer back on it again after the 30 days. Now, again, this is where, you know, opinions are gonna vary. I personally don't love those thick acrylic film forming sealers when it comes to driveways. And if it was cured with that, my best advice is to let that all wear off and just go back to a penetrating sealer. Now, if it was something like D-Shield, again, that's something that could be, you could cure and seal with that and just reapply it after 30 days. And this really is where it just uh, takes a lot of communication between you and your contractor to figure out what they cured it with and what the best way is to move forward. So quick little recap here before we finish things up. Uh, first of all, are you trying to cure or seal the concrete? I mean, there is a big difference between these two things. And again, usually the contractor is gonna take care of spraying the cure uh, the same day he poured uh, before he leaves the job that day. Always do some research uh, just to figure out what the best sealer option is for your own situation. I mean, don't just walk into a hardware store and ask for a bucket of concrete sealer. I mean, who knows what you might end up with. And if the concrete is either just too new or there's some curing compound left blocking it, it is not going to be able to do that job. Now, topical film forming sealers, on the other hand, they can be applied a lot sooner, but just be careful. Too much, too soon can lead to trapping moisture and it'll probably end up turning white or flaking off at some point. Well, guys, that's pretty much it for this week's show. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video, man. We really, really do appreciate all the support that you guys show to the channel every week. And don't forget about the Decorative Concrete Expo. It uh, happens every single February. All you gotta do is click the link right down in the description and all the info is there. So, from all of us here at DecoCrete TV, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.